Hey everyone, welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today I am going to show you a quick, easy Christmas gift for the crafty people in your life. Today I am going to show you how to make this cute little scissor holder. This is a great gift item. You can hold your little scissors in the front pocket and your big scissors in the big pocket. And here's the thing, you can put a strap from here to here to hold big scissors in so they won't fall out if you plan on traveling with them. You can sew buttons on here, you can put lace on here, you can deck it out any way you want. It's handy, it's a quick sew, and you're gonna love it. This pattern comes from Erica Arnott. Arned? Arned? I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but I'm going to put a link to that video in the description box below for you so that you can go see her do it and she's got all the information on her video, but these are so cute I just had to show you. Let's get started. So when you go to um, Erica's video on this, her pattern is listed. And there's a couple different ways that you can make this. And in sh her video, she makes them all the ways. I'm going to show you the one that has two scissor holders in it. It's the easiest, I think. Um, so this is the pattern. And you'll need to print it out and cut it out. And if you make sure that you fold it on all the lines, you'll need your lining fabric your outside fabric, and then you're going to need, she uses fusible fleece, but I'm actually using a medium weight fusible interfacing. So I'm going to take these and put them together, and I have already ironed on my fusible interfacing, FYI. This will fit directly on here. Okay. You can trace this using um, a friction pen like this and then cut around it or you could you could just use a pencil I mean you're not you're not gonna see it um, or the other thing you need to mark where when you're sewing this you need a spot to leave open um, so you're gonna have to mark that on your fabric but this is what I do I just go ahead and cut it out so here we go. I'm going to line this up. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out rather than trace it. But you do whatever is the easiest for you. I really need to replace this blade. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> when I'm tracing this, cutting it, I'm keeping my hand on the pattern so it doesn't move. If you have one of those spinning mats, that would work perfect for this. I do not have one of those. Okay, now my side that says leave open, just kind of move it down and mark it. You don't have to be exact. And actually we're going to have to turn these inside out, so I should have done it the other way. But here's my markings, no big deal. Now we want a pin because we are just going to sew this. Help. 
however you want to pin this. We can take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to start from here and sew all the way around to here. Okay, so I am starting right here. I'm just going to leave quarter inch around to take my shoes off. I can't sew with shoes on. And I'm going to back stitch right here. stitch at the end there and then cut your thread and then we want to turn this right side out so what helps this is I don't know get your chopstick and then I just kind of push it from this side out Okay, I'm going to use this to poke out my corners. You can use the three point turner. This one is, it's by Clover. But I want to make sure my corners are sharp. Sorry, usually I'm a lot more talkative during my videos. <laughs> it's a quiet day okay it is turned right side out I am going to go ahead and iron this out real quick okay so we have our little shape here almost looks like a casket a Halloween casket <laughs> so we have our opening right here right where this shows we need to fold this up just like this and it always takes me a few minutes to find exactly where I need to fold it. Okay, so there's my opening. So I fold here and then this comes over to here and that is going to be what our scissor holder looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and stick my iron on here really quick and um, just so I can kind of press the press the, the crinkle into it. Okay, I've put my iron over it and now I'm just going to use a couple of clips. To hold it in place. like so. The last thing we're going to do is take this binding and this is optional. You can just take this and sew it quarter inch from end to end and then quarter inch from end to end this way and close it up. But I'm going to put on this little binding right here. So I'm going to line it up and put it under the clips here. I'm going to sew from here to here, a uh, quarter inch seam. Be careful, this is super thick. Thank you. 
you gotta kind of schmooze it along here. It's a lot of fabric. All right, so in here, it gets to the end and it looks like it's a little bit too long. This happened to me before. I'm just gonna fold it up a little closer. Okay, this curves right around to the back where it should. <laughs> and then I'm gonna so I'm gonna curve this around, pin it. And then sew from here to here and I'll sew down the front and, and it'll catch the back. Okay, and then I'm going to sew this side. And cut your loose threads. And voila! This is our scissor holder. So, while you're sitting here sewing at your, at your sewing machine, your scissors can be protected. Protects your blades so that your scissors aren't just hanging out. And I keep mine right under here. Okay, that's all there is to this cute little scissor holder. It is a quick project. You can have this thing done in under 15 minutes. Again, I will put the link for Erica's channel in the description box below, uh, linking the video, the original video for the, with this pattern on it. So go over and check her channel out if you don't know who she is. She has excellent sewing tutorials. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.